The storm made it. There should be a big rock right about there. Clifford, the red pickup and the flatbed, there's no way we're gonna make it up my hill today. So, Chase is going one square mile. Gray Goose at a time. I'm running up there one at a time. Riding in that lonesome circle. Nice little storm we're getting. It rained almost an inch last night before it started snowing. And we're supposed to get somewhere between 12 and 18 inches, so. It's gonna be a doozy. Where there's no one to call a friend. Grass is short and them cows gone dry. Windmills broke who the hell knows why. So what's a man? Mile an hour winds all day with 65 mile an hour gusts. Headed up to the Diamond Bar for bail number two. Right. There's a little idea how much it rained last night. That's usually not there. So underneath all this snow, it's muddy. So you can maybe see why I couldn't get up the hill to the Diamond Bar. It's a little steep. So there Clifford sits today. It's one day of rest, maybe two. We'll see, might not be able to make it up tomorrow either. It's just a little squall. They come on you fast and they leave you fast. Besides, we should be just about there because when we left the camp stool, we had just enough fuel to get there. And <laughs> we're out of fuel. Just kidding. That's for all the Captain Ron fans out there. You kind of see why I didn't want to pull a trailer up this hill with a bunch of hay bales on it. Because this hill can be a doozy with just a pickup, let alone a trailer behind a pickup that has racing slicks for tires. I have no idea where my road's at. I kind of know exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to get there, but there's some big rocks in this pasture. I'm a little nervous about smoking one of them. But I can see far enough still that I know where I want to be. I just don't know where the road's at. Can't find it. Found the road. Booyah, baby. Got to go down the luge here. Oh, this luge doesn't have very good sides on it. Might slip right out. Whew. It's all good. And with any luck, hey, hey, cows! Let's give these cows some feed right about here. These guys are not happy yet. They will be. They will be by the time it's done. It's just going to take a little longer than usual. Girls! Ugh. Six strings, Zanga. Guess we're gonna feed some right there. Cause Lincoln's not tough enough to move it. They're getting some snow. Pull forward a little bit, dump some more. Pull forward a little bit more, dump some more. Rinse, repeat, two more times. And then sit in the office, drink coffee, edit this video maybe since it's been a while. Hey mamas. Hey 
mamas. I'm not really sure I'm gonna make it back to that spot again. I'm having a hard time getting out of it. But I'd like to feed them all in the same spot because it's not very good to feed them in two different spots. You'll end up with calves mixed up and stuff. I don't know. Well, we're gonna try getting back in there two more times, but I'm not making any guarantees on whether we make it or not. I do so good. I was on the road there for a while and now I'm definitely not. There's the last bale. All tucked in for the day. See you guys tomorrow. Hopefully. I'm gonna have to put some chains on the tractor to get up here tomorrow because the pickup's not getting around so long anymore either. This time of year during spring blizzards when there's like 18 inches of snow and it's getting dark what i really like to do is uh i like to go for walks uh you know like i don't know half mile two mile long walks to get skid steers to get our pickup out of the middle of the damn county road so this is kind of what i like to do so that's what i'm doing tonight well the draw did not disappoint like 20 yards that were over my waist so that's nice i was getting really worried that it was just gonna be like ankle deep snow the whole way and we wouldn't have anything to make a youtube video about but we're good we're good we got some content out of this deal better shut this off i can't see where i'm going there you can oh yeah you take a left turn at the snow bank and go like another quarter mile and we'll be at the skid. The nice thing about not making it home last night is usually I go outside in my underwear to start the pickup. And down here I get to go outside and start the tractor. That's handy. The snow's melting so fast underneath. I had to adjust the skid shoes all the way down so I didn't dig up mud. I started to not plow up here. <coughs> that was thinking maybe I didn't need to but I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to get this gate open turns out it's drifted on both sides this gate might get whacked since the last route was plugged up I came through the Devil's Tower National Monument I'm gonna come through this gate cross the sketchy bridge see if I can get to the cows this way and there's the gate going into our place. We're gonna go along the road, cross this really sketchy bridge over here, and the cows are up over this hill over here. I don't know if I can get up and over that hill or not, but we're gonna try. Finally made it to the cows. Tate fed in the perfect spot, and it looks like they all stayed down in the trees. They actually look pretty dang happy.
hill because I don't think the front tires are good enough on our feeding tractor to get up here to them today. So we're going to try to drag them down to the bottom where we can get to them. Everyone's favorite bridge. My mom calls it the Holy Bridge. I call it the scary bridge. My wife calls it the don't ever ask me to cross that bridge. It's kind of a doozy. You can see, you don't have a whole lot of extra room. If I pull a trailer across it, the outside wheels hang off. I've only done that a couple times. I would not recommend that to anyone. If you want, um, when I cross that bridge with hay in the bucket, I usually just pick it up way in the air so you can see your tires. If you're high enough, you can see your tires. Time to do some sketchy shit. A little sketchy. I came across here three times before I had the nerve to actually video it. Yeah. Alright, we're kind of hard to believe we didn't make it home last night. The road seems so nice. Hardly even drifted in. I better check and make sure I had it four wheel drive. There's not even very much snow here. I buried the big tractor and I don't think the tires are good enough on the other tractor to get up the hill. So I'm kind of just brainstorming right now what I'm going to do. Skid steer stuck. Other tractor, I don't know if it'll make it up here. Quite the predicament. Well, I think Tate's going to try coming up here at the other tractor to save the day. So this is my napping position in these tractors. There's not a whole lot of room in the 1980s John Deere tractors, but you get it figured out. The best part is, is if you're napping like during hang season or something, eventually your legs fall asleep and it wakes you up. I'm on right now, but I can assure you that we're well, well past plan B. My plan is this. Take this fancy piece of equipment that we got unstuck, go through this fancy gate, and start digging around that big piece of equipment that I got stuck. And maybe dig a path through like right here so we can feed these cows. Yep, that's my plan. Well, I got kind of a path blazed for the pickup. Hopefully the pickup can bypass the road and the tractor via this awesome new trail that I made. And I 
blazed or dug the tractor out dug the tractor out good enough hopefully that I can uh, get it out I'm not really 100% confident because I mean, you can see it's pretty buried but I guess worst case scenario I'll get back in and start digging some more but we're gonna try it once a handier person probably would have made it so I didn't have to fix a bunch of fence after it melts. I didn't have a whole lot of room to work with. Kind of got it stuck in a good spot. It's up to my shoulder. A bit of a drift right there, it turns out. I just stuck that railroad tie behind the tire. With any luck, this tire will catch the railroad tie and I'll just back right out of here. What the odds of that are? It's 740 after the blizzard. We're finally headed home. We have to make one little stop at Ashley's pickup and jump start it because we left the flashers on last night when we got stuck in the middle of the road and the battery died. So we gotta stop there, jump start that pickup, and we're gonna go home and crash. What are you working on, Merritt? A truck. Do those rain, does that raincoat and rain pants fit you pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What are you working on down there? Uh, just checking some stuff out. He's checking the specs on the rotary girder? Yep. Yeah. Hope you don't tear anything apart down there. Don't tear anything apart. Okay. All right. This is Merritt's wrestling room. There's no heat in here, so we kind of abandoned it in the winter, huh? Yeah. And I couldn't convince Merritt any longer that it was too cold to clean the wrestling room. So, today's the day. Time to clean, huh, kid? Yeah. I'll right. grab her mopper. Get her. Got it on? Yep. All right. We're all swept. Now we just got a mop. Yeah. All right. Look at this right here. Yeah. Bird pooped in here. I know. We got a lot of cleaning to do, don't we? Yeah. All right, Matt. Yeah. First pass cleaning the wrestling room is Good. complete. Yep. It's dry. Yep. What do you want to do first? Sword fight, wrestle, basketball. Sword fight. Hope you're ready. I am so ready. Oh, what is that? Everybody, our characters. Okay. Which one are you? Leonardo. Merritt's Leonardo. Which one am I? You are Michelangelo. Which one's mom? Raphael. Which one's Ricky? Donatello. Donatello. Which one's Rock and Trip and Deep? Well, they're kind of chopped liver, eh? Well, they are our characters. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. my grandpa gave me. Amazon poster, Amazon poster, Amazon poster, and a state champion that gave me that as a gift. Got you right in the snot. Let me cut your head off. On guard. <laughs> 